It doesn't even hesitate going up there. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, day for me, the Emotion V14 came came in, um, so I'm pretty excited to unbox this. It's going to be a quick unboxing, and uh, this is the 50S, so this has got the higher discharge uh, batteries. So let's open it up and uh, have a look. All right, so here we go, guys. So this is the wheel. So good, good foam protection here. Look at this. So we can chuck that away. It's good stuff. And this is the beauty here. I love how they've got the uh, some, some protective padding in there for the for the uh, pedals, so they don't damage the batteries and shipping. We've got our handle, our two-stage handle, which is great. So let's get this out now, and so you can have a look. Look at this. Chuck that away. Beautiful wheel. Sound like that. Nice black. I like the black. I do have some other covers to show you in a, in a minute. So here's our. Oh, so, so we've got. They're for the rear, but we've got our stand as well. So in the box here is also, if you look here in the new versions, you'll see a stand. And this sand is so solid. Okay guys, this is what's coming in the, the box. So we've got our charger here. This is uh, the 134.4 volt, three amp. Um, it is a sh it's a shame it is a little bit slow, but let's work at getting that faster. Let's work at getting them to bring us a faster charger. That would be awesome. Um, we've got our power, power adapter. We have our full color manual. You can see here the full color manual. So let's have a quick look at that. Uh, that's awesome. It's really good quality. So we've got all our specs there. I'll put all the uh, spec stuff in the description so you can check it all out. So that's really good. We have some uh, battery protectors. So these are the battery protectors for the front, I think. We also have some spare bumpers and a toolkit. All right guys, we've got a progressive spring setup. We have a compression setting. So if you want to go more, we go right. If we want to go less, we go left. We also have a setting for slow and fast rebound. So they, these are all done by clicks, which is great. Um, and each click makes a massive difference as well. So that's, that's a really good setup. Okay, so the next one thing would be the handle. Now, the handle, let's just put this in uh, drive mode. There we go. The handle feels really good. It feels pretty strong, like this. Um, no problems there. When it goes higher, it's gonna feel a bit more wobblier, of course, like, like everything does. Um, there's not much they can do about that, but I would say. But, down on that level, even on that level, when you're just pushing straight or cornering, it's perfectly fine. It does the job. So it's a really good handle. Um, it's gonna do the job nicely. And then it retracts and then clicks into place. So we're gonna talk about the display. The display is nice. It's a nice, well-lit display. Um, it shows everything you need, uh, your battery percentage, level of battery, your the mode you're in, if you're in, um, sport or, uh, or comfort, normal riding. Um, and also the speed as well. It's, it's well lit. I don't think touch was necessary on a trail wheel like this. Um, so I think this is a good, good, good thing for the trail wheel to have one of these displays. So we've got a nice protection here for the charging ports. So we've got two charging ports here. Um, they've stayed with the same charging port. Uh, I think it's a GX16, I think. Uh, we've got uh, a massive silicon gasket here, which is great. And uh, that'll stop it from getting water damaged. Okay, so the next thing would be pedals. Um, these pedals, they seem pretty decent. They're, uh, they, they've got the, lots of spikes on them, which is necessary for trails. 
they're nice and lightweight. They're quite big as well. Uh, so they're similar to the V13, but a lot bigger. So in my opinion, I'm gonna be happy with these because I like the V13 ones. So you can see them there and they fold up nicely as well. Back to the plastic, we've got some plastic handles front and back. Now these are really nice and solid, solid handles to grab. So with the Emotion branding, they've also got the Emotion uh, sticker on the side here with the plastic side panels. I think they're really good and also a plastic mud guard, plastic stand. I think they're gonna be really good because this is a trail wheel and not a speed wheel. So it's gonna be meant for trails, which means we're gonna come off a lot and we want it as cheap as possible to repair. So in that regard, I think they've done a great job on that. So I think from this version on, or the batch two version, we've got a new tire. So the tread is different. It's more of a hybrid tire. It's a street uh, slash trail tire. It's actually really nice on the road. Um, so this is gonna be good. Also, we also have a C40, C40 uh, motor. So a C40 motor with 4,000 watts of power. Um, we've also got the Raptor controller on board as well. And uh, this thing is a beast. So the next box we're gonna open. Oh, look at that, just open. Boom. So we have a set of power pads, which is great. Got some in motion Bedell power pads. These are actually really good quality. And they're pretty decent. If you look at uh, if you look at where this goes, where it sits, it sits pretty much in the middle of my uh, in the middle of my leg. So I think I'll be using these to be honest. I think they're and they lock interlocking parts here. So you put those in there like that, and they lock the pads all together, which can be great. They've given me an Australian power plug for the charger, which is great. And then also extra, I guess this is extra. Must be for the, uh, yeah, it's extra sheets for the plates. I think the plates, oh yeah, it's the plates. So they go on the side of the wheel, like so. So it's extra. I think what I'll be doing though with these, because I don't want to 3M them to the batteries, I will put Velcro on top of the 3M pads and then stick them to that way. That's what we've got in here. And they've also sent me, lucky me, some beautiful orange ones, because I like the orange as well. So this is the, oh, look at that. Beautiful, the orange plastic. The plastic's quite, uh, it's quite a hard plastic. So it, uh, it's got the R there for right and left and then screw holes. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be gonna be perfect. So, right, so I guess that goes the other side. Oh, this one's got adventure and this one's got in motion. That's interesting. Let's go. Okay, so this is what was in the other box. I spoke with in motion and I had a few grazes here from a race I went to. Uh, you can see grays here, grays there, and they really look after me. So, a very appreciative in motion. So they sent me a few spare parts. So I'm very happy with that. So I can put brand new ones on there. So guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to measure some Velcro like this. And then I'm going to peel this off. And put Velcro on this, and uh, I'll show you the of why this is a good idea in a minute. So we'll pop it like this, like that, and then I'll show you in a minute. So we've got the side plates, and what I've done is I've put Velcro all the way on the 3M tape. And what we do, come along like this, put Velcro here, as you can see, and then pop that on like like that. And then if you want to remove it, guess what? You can remove it. Bingo. That's it. That's it. That's all we're doing. Yeah. Turn it off.